Hello, we want to welcome you to our tutorial about hard over Profibus solution for Amazon's AMS suite. It's called TACC and it stands for Trabing and Himstead AMS Communication Components and the hard over Profibus solution is the main part of this software package. And these are the employed products in our session today. First we have the TACC components with the hard over Profibus solution for sure the AMS Intelligent Device Manager application itself and as an access point to the network the TH Links Profibus former cross API 2 as gateway between Ethernet and Profibus and the Acyclic Master. And this is our application scenario. We have on our server installed the AMS Device Manager and in addition our TCC with a hard over Profibus part. Uh, we have a couple of Profibus DP strands with PLCs and different remote IOs from different vendors and the THLink Profibus is used as the gateway and access point from Ethernet to Profibus. We have some more preconditions. Um, for sure you'll need the latest version of our TCC uh, free for download at our website and you have to check some other things like operating system, software versions, available AMS license and so on. Uh, then you need to check if the used remote I.O. cards are really supported by our TCC uh, and that's documented at our release node as well. And last but not least, the TH link need to be set it in the, on the operation mode active passive Profibus station uh, to be able for work as an acyclic master later on. How to get the TCC installed? You will find installation on our website, go to industrial communication and products. And beneath the products you find the uh, TACC and uh, if you stay on the TACC product you will find in the quick link box all the installations. That means the installation itself, the release node and the installation guide as well. And uh, even on this point you can double check on the release node if you fulfill all the earlier mentioned preconditions. That means in special uh, compatibility which controllers, which remote I.O. cards are supported and so on. Once you have installed the TCC successfully you will find at the Windows Start menu a Trabing and Himstead folder and this contains the TACC uh, which all documents, installation guide, uh, release node, user guides and so on. As next uh, we have to check if the TH link is available for our AMS device manager application. For this reason we put in the IP address in our web browser and uh, then we will see the um, diagnostic application on board on a TH link. You see here the whole network of different TH links for different uh, Profibus strands and the one we want to use with our IP address is marked now and by clicking the TH link we drill into this Profibus DP network we see the controller and the different DP slaves here. On the info area we see that the master application is stopped, that means not yet uh, activated and we will check at the same time in the settings if the TH link is on the right operation mode, uh, that means active passive Profibus station. That means he is ready to uh, get into a communication if uh, accessed by our AMS device manager and TECC components. As next we need to configure our TH links with the needed uh, bus parameters. For this we go again to the Windows Start menu and the uh, Trabing and Himstead folder, TACC and uh, there we find then the Set Bus Parameter tool. Opening this tool we see the button Hardware. By clicking this button we uh, can scan the network for all the available hardware, means TH link components and now we got displayed here our three available TH links in the three Profibus DP networks. Now once we found all the available TH links uh, we can start to assign uh, the TH links to uh, different Profibus gateways that means the real substations of the different plant areas let's say so we added now the first substation 100 and assign the one TH links the same step we do with the next one, we create a sub 200 and uh, assign the two remaining TH links. 
And now we have created a uh, yeah, logical structure of the plant in our setbus parameter tool. Now we have all our TH links assigned to our different substations, but they are still deactivated. And to activate our TH links, we need to give them uh, bus parameters. And uh, that's done here on the, on the right side in the parameter settings. You can uh, choose a user-defined parameter and then you have to put in exactly the same bus parameters as used from the cyclic master. In this case, we will remain with our DP standard profile and we can put in a line name as a, as a tag name. We have to choose a station address and then we can check activate it and uh, have to push the apply button. And you see now in our overview, we have the first TH links activated and able for communication. The same is what we are doing with all the other TH links uh, to create a tag name, and to set a uh, bus station address and uh, activate it and apply. And the same procedure th for the third one. Again, the bus station address, line name. And uh, once this is completed, we have all three TH links now able uh, for acyclic communication for AMS Device Manager. Now we need to configure on the AMS side our Profibus network and that means we go via the start menu and the AMS device manager folder to our network configuration tool. Um, in this network configuration tool we add a uh, Profibus network, we choose the hard over Profibus one and click install and in the next step we can uh, create a unique name for this Profibus network. In this case we will choose demo1 and uh, yeah, that's it. Then we have the connection parameters and here it's important to keep the parameters, especially the local host setting. Uh, by clicking the finish button it's done and we have our Profibus network as demo1 configured on the AMS side. Now we have completed all our configuration and uh, we are ready to use Hardover Profibus with our AMS device manager. So we start the AMS device manager um, doing the login, username, password and so on. And uh, we see now the AMS device manager application and uh, via physical networks we can drill down to our product demo uh, machine and on our demo 1 Profibus network we have to do now our hierarchy rebuild. That means uh, we will scan now the whole network and you see now here exactly the structure we configured earlier in our setbus parameter tools. We have our sub 100 with one TH link and we have our substation 200 with our two TH links. And uh, behind the TH links you see the different uh, Profibus DP slaves and especially our ET200M as remote I.O. And by clicking the one slot with a hard I.O. card you see uh, the different channels and the hard devices in these channels. In the first case it was a Vika device and the second the network it's an Andres and Hauser device as hard device and um, by using the context menu you can now open the device and use the whole AMS device manager functionality to uh, yeah, read and to see the uh, process variables and values of this particular device. As you can see here, we created automatically the whole network structure um, using the hardware Profibus solution and our TH link. And um, using this way, all the hard devices are accessible for AMS Device Manager via Profibus. Now we have all TH links in active communication as an acyclic master. And we can double check this quite easy uh, if we go to the IP address. That means we open the web user interface from this TH link directly. And we will go again to our info area and you see now that the master application is started. So that's uh, the confirmation that this TH link is really uh, accessed and the working as an acyclic master. We thank you for joining our tutorial about uh, plant asset management with Heart of a Profibus. For further information or questions, uh, we are available via phone or email or please use at any time our website t-h.de.